Hello! Uh, how the fudge you doing? Hey guys, D Field here, bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. And uh, today we're here with Dylan and Led. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good, dude. What? How you doing, Led? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Uh, all right, nice, all nice. right, so guys, uh, we got contacted by Kobe a little bit earlier today, and he actually asked us to hop on a Factions Platinum. So we're actually on Factions Platinum right now, guys. Uh, Kobe did a little bit of uh, server configuration along with our other uh, admin, Curtis, and they fixed around some of the server files to try to make this a better cannoning server. So we're out of the world border right now, and uh, we're actually checking out this entire, like, we're, we're in this test area right here. So Led has built his, one of his tunneling, tunneling cannons, is that what you call it? Tunneling cannons or whatever? Yeah. And um, we're gonna be testing to see if this cannon actually works on the server now So I know obviously on Russia's side He's got Finn his main cannoner and then on our side We've got lead who's been teaching us the ropes and teaching us all of this stuff So we've got the cannon already made like we have it blocked off because we don't want to show you guys too much But if we come on over here Dylan, let's just view that's the majority of the cannon just looks like this And yeah. that's literally and, uh, all I'm gonna show <laughs> one thing though this cannon is actually a smaller version Yeah, exactly of, like the full force one this one, how many chunks will this shoot, lead? I don't know, like four or five chunks, maybe. It's yeah, so we, we literally we just more. made this w within like 10 minutes. Like the longest part that it, it took us to actually test was the, like adding all the TNT and stuff, which is, which is fine. You know, we're testing this server for canon purposes and hopefully, um, Hopefully we can do this. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and test this out right now. We've got a couple of cannons to test because we obviously want to give every single cannon that we uh, are going to be using a try on the server so that we can see if um, the cannons actually work. So we set up and world edited this huge, just huge stone block. It's about like four to five chunks long. And uh, we're just going to see how far we can actually tunnel with this smaller right. I'm gonna turn on fly for this section. Yes, I'm going to turn on fly as well. Just for viewing purposes, Led, Led do you want to go ahead and hit that button, man? Yeah, here we go. All right, right here we go. Explodes, All right, dude. here we go, dude. Watch, watch the cannon TPS, just explode TPS right here. Yes, it's 17. Is that good? We'll find uh, out. Um, oh. that might be trouble. All right, I hear explosions. Here we go. Oh. All right. It worked. It worked. The it kind worked. Of, it worked. It worked. Oh my god, it tunneled all the way through this. Wait, now, here's the thing, Led. If we were to regenerate this portion again, like this stone again, and um, actually extend it even further, will it tunnel even more? Or will yeah, we need more quite possibly. Okay, let's, let, me, let, let me go ahead and see if I can try it. I'm, I'm just generating more. Here. Yeah, I'm going I'm to generate the, more stone. I got to get the bottom of this. Like, cause we gotta yeah, I got it. I got it. Way. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. I got it. Nah, dude. I got this. Dude, I got this. Trust me, Dylan. I got I this. Got we, don't, it, bro. we don't need you here, man. We don't need you here. Set hey, stone. Hey. All right, done. All right, I made it. I said it. it again, dude. You missed stuff. <laughs> all right, you all right, missed, all right. Like, let's try. Edge. Let's shoot this again. So it looked like it worked on that first attempt right there. Looked like it tunneled just perfectly. I kind of want to stand right in front of the cannon and test this out, like just to see what it looks Can like I visually. Shoot? Will it shoot me? All right, here we go. No, you're gonna all die. Right. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. There's, oh, there's way yeah. too much. There's way too much explosions forgot, happening. All right, lad, let's try that gotcha. again. Let's just try it one more time, just to see, just to make sure 100% works. Let's just see what it looks like. All right, here we go. All right, just waiting for the explosion. Here we go, boys. Here it comes, like here it comes, thing, here so it comes. Just, like, all cinematic and stuff. Ooh. Oh that looks my sick, god, look at this. So how many chunks is this, guys? Uh, Whoa, it's going to be about, let's see, one, two, three, about four. Yeah, as you said, it's about four chunks long. So this is a miniaturized version of the like a chunk tunneler that uh, Led was talking about. He didn't really want to build the full thing as it would cost us a lot of TNT to actually spend. In my, but in my uh, one of the videos where I introduced Led to the series, he mm -hmm. actually built one that went way farther than this. <laughs> so at least we know that it actually works, right? Like the entire, the cannoning portion of the server should be 100% working now. So Led, what other cannon do you want us to try on uh, video today? I know you've got a couple of cannons up your sleeves that we can actually use. So this is the number one like the main tunneler so if we ever need a you know raid a base that tunnels for ages and ages we'll we'd end up building this one what others what other else do we have what other options do we have here uh, i'm anxious to try out a uh, high stacking cannon oh See like well like a works. like a 200 stacker cannon is that what you're gonna try to do yeah, we'll Whoa. go for like 230 stacker. Uh -huh. Holy cow. Jeez. All right, you know, you know what? We're going to take a quick cut, go back into a little bit of building. Led's going to go ahead and t kind of try to teach us the best way possible of him building that cannon. We'll set up another, like, is it going to be like an obsidian wall or something that with water that this would be useful for? 
Yeah, any water covered walls. All right, sounds we'll go good. Through. So we'll be right back. It'll be like two seconds for you guys. It's probably going to be about 30 minutes to 45 minutes of building for our, our boy Led here. So he's going to be teaching us the best that we can. And let's do it. All right, guys, we are back. We have set up another cannon right beside the one that we were just working on, guys. It's actually almost an hour and a half after our first clip recording. Uh, we had to get our boy Led here to kind of just look around the cannon, and it took him a long time to set up. He does have fly just for viewing purposes. We were not using it to actually build the cannon, but let me uh, enable fly again right here. So we're flying around, and we're going to show you guys here. So this is Led's um, hybrid stacker slat. Wait, what do you call this? Like, what is the, what is the official word of this cannon like what is the official name of this cannon lead uh just call it like a 231 shot <laughs> a 231 oh, nice. shot that sounds pretty cool so we've got one two three four five six seven layers of obsidian um walls here so obviously these are the most freaking walls that you guys probably see on the archon a whole lot of obsidian walls or even cobblestone walls with a bunch of water on them let us uh built this cannon we're not going to show you guys all the parts of it but this is the outside just this entire box is just filled with redstone and a whole bunch of dispensers and there's a total of i believe 400 150 you said 450 dispensers total in this entire cannon so it's a pretty sick cannon and this is gonna be the first time we're actually shooting it on the Archon. I hope everything works. Lad, I hope you have the Checking redstone TPS. right. TPS is good. TPS is what what's it at? It's at 19.8. Lad, go ahead and fire the button. Let's Dude, see let's if this like, works. Let's just in the box just like oh all right, my here gosh. We go. Here we go, on. guys. Right. Here we go. Here we go. We're just testing the cannoning servers, guys. Here we go. Come on, baby. Uh oh. Oh, I, okay. I, I saw the sand disappear. Oh my god. I don't um, know what's happening. Whoa. Um, something exploded. Holy rip. Holy rip. All right, guys. Hold on. We're bare back and rip cannon. We're going to try this again. Second time's a charm. We've rebuilt the cannon. Took us a little bit again because, oh my gosh, these cannons are just insane, guys. The amount of dispensers that you got to use for this. It's crazy. Led thinks that he's fixed it. He saw what the problem was, and he's going to try his hardest to see if this hopefully, hopefully works. Led, hit that button, man. It's all you, bro. Oh Game my on. gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That is cider. Come on. It looks like there's just so many dispensers. This is insane, dude. Oh, there goes the sand. Uh, apparently this can oh, apparently this cannon like lags the server, so it's just like rip. Oh, I, just saw I saw a bunch of shots, dude. I saw some explosions actually explode on the wall, but it looks like yeah. there's some some sort of timing issue inside the cannon itself is what's causing the problem. And it, there's an explosion on the pistons right here. It's kind of what's happening right here. Uh -huh. Hmm, we're probably just gonna have to mess around with the timing of all of the like all of these cannons and all of that stuff because oh my gosh guys This is insane. Like we just you know, it's, it's just a lot of work. It's, yeah, I, I don't understand it either Like let's let's do a majority of the work So as you guys can see there's still a couple of configuration stuff that we have to do to get this cannon to be fully working and Operational so it's gonna take some time guys. It is a test server not really a test server But it's a test run on what we can and can't do with these cannons so far. So uh, yeah, I guess this is gonna be it for today uh, Dylan, we're gonna go ahead and do one last. Uh, we we gotta talk about one last thing right before we end this video, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are here on the Tree of Peace. As you guys just saw right there, we have been testing cannons for the past couple of days here with lead. Like, now, as you guys know, it is a, a sort of, like, trial and error process as the Archon was never meant to be a cannoning server. Like, ever since the, like, the, the beginning of the Archon era, it's always just been, you know, witherating, but as, like, you know, the Archon server kind of evolves along with the community, you guys are finally starting to learn how to cannon and wanting to learn how to cannon, so we're trying our hardest on our side to kind of configure the server to the best ability. Now, Led's been a part of a whole bunch of other cannoning servers, like Gontroller and Origin and a whole bunch of others, so like he kind of knows exactly what we have to configure. Now, uh, Dylan, we do have some plans with, um, I mean, once everything is configured, we've got some plans with Bedrock Vaults. You said you had a couple in mind that you had saved, maybe, because uh, obviously it's so easy to find Bedrock Vaults in the Nether. So yeah, you literally just walk at the top of the Nether and yeah. like you'll see like four. <laughs> like, there's like, so minutes. many, there's so many, but the thing is, like, the one, the server's not configured yet, obviously, to uh, have the tunneler break those bedrock pieces without bedrock breaker. So, it's kind of a little bit difficult because we were talking to Led a little bit earlier. How many chunks did he say? Like, do you, do you uh, remember what he was saying? Seven or eight. Myself seven or eight or seventy? Seven or eight. Seven or eight. Is that what he said? I, I can't yes, even remember. Yeah, so. Yeah. 
Led said that in order for like a true bedrock breaker, like just like the same exact cannon that Finn uses to break actual like vanilla bedrock, you need to be over eight chunks away from the actual target. So, and within those eight chunks, no one can be around like the chunk that you're trying to break for like an eight chunk radius. So it's really, really hard to actually get all of those things to align. But I'm really, really hoping that, you know, eventually once we get the cannon settings all going, once we get the server TPS like to the max 20 or maybe like 19.5, you know, uh, we're going to try our hardest to make this a canning server. We literally want to make this like not just platinum, but obviously we're going to eventually move all of these settings over to blue, red, green, orange, purple, like all of those other It'd servers as well. To see like just so many different cannons just like everywhere. Exactly. Blowing stuff up. Exactly, dude. That's just going to be, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Now, guys, the Archon was never or has never been. A, a cannoning server like like no one has ever looked at the archon as a canning server like we're known as like one of the biggest wither servers in terms of just wither can like wither rating now wither the fact too, now. <laughs> yeah exactly now the fact that we're kind of evolving into a canning community it's kind of like we're we're evolving further into like this whole entire faction drama it's kind of changing the entire gameplay like just simple base walls and defenses like won't always work now and it's just insane to think about how how crazy and how like advanced you guys are slowly becoming to be becoming Especially one of like, the biggest canon servers with the ability to like cuz i mean obviously like there's withers and there's cannons mhm mm so as led has already shown us the wither cannon it's just <laughs> it's a combination of the best of crazy. both worlds yeah and exactly dude like i don't know it's going to like at the end of the day, I think that it's gonna make it a lot more difficult to play factions on the Archon for everybody because obviously you need to defend against cannons and you need to defend against like like different wither tactics and all of that stuff. So there's not just one thing that you have to defend on in the server, and that's kind of like the coolest part about the Archon right now. Like you never know if you're gonna get raided by a wither. You never know if you're gonna get raided by a cannon. So it's kind oh, of the what? best of both worlds. Yes, like oh, like uh, it's, it just makes me makes that's me it's like crazy. Exactly, exactly. But anyways, guys. I think that is going to bring it to the end of today's episode. It was this nice little fun cannon testing episode. I really do hope that Kobe and Curtis can get these settings properly like configured for blah, 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 configured <laughs> configured onto the server so that we can finally have like and start having fun with more of these insane looking cannons. I've seen Finn's builds. I've seen some of Led's builds on his private server. Like holy crap, like guys, like we're learning so much on like this entire cannoning section of the factions realm but anyways guys thank you so much for watching dylan any final words to add before we end this beautiful day of factions i'm really excited for i'm the super of, excited uh, of the server and such this oh, should be fun. it's gonna be crazy yeah, man cannons. just imagine this dylan we spent like six hours today just reviewing cannons with the lead like imagine and two cannons and just two cannons exactly all of you guys out there playing factions like you guys are gonna have to invest this much time as well to learn cannoning once like we're fully developed so it's gonna be a nice fun journey with you guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys all have a fantastic day we'll see you guys tomorrow Bye bye